I'm Mark Copeland, Public Information Officer for the Berkeley Unified School District, and this is BUSD Public Information. While I'm in the neighborhood, let me take you back a couple of weeks ago to an event that happened just a few blocks from here at Liberty Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Every September, they honor educators, as the Baptist Church does throughout the nation. But here in Berkeley, Reverend Marvis Peoples, who is, by the way, himself a retired principal from the Oakland schools, honors our educators. A number of our folks were able to show up at the ceremony on that Sunday. Let's take a look. All right. The day is what? Education Sunday. What was Jesus called? Teacher. Jesus was called what, son? Teacher. Jesus was called teacher. Teacher. He wasn't called pastor. He wasn't called preacher. He was called what? Teacher. Teacher. Teacher, teacher is the most important person on earth. Man, if she's already there, she's going to be there. She has made it. She is one of the board directors of the Berkeley Unified School District. Amen. Amen. You make me feel like I'm somebody. You showed up at Lady Hill and be with us, all of these people today. God bless you. <laughs> all right. Carla Ennis. Carla is a great teacher, obviously loving her work as a fifth grade classroom teacher, but Carla has another gift. She is the creator of an Oxford tradition, Grandma's Hands. And she has worked for nearly a decade to make this historical production an experience that remains in the hearts and minds of students and parents long after they leave the fifth grade. Carl originally created Grandma's Hands for her own grandmother. Grandma's Hands is a wonderful theater musical production that tells a long history of African and African-American heroes, updated every year to include new heroes like President Obama. With this production, Carl has been telling students, yes, we can. Oh, We're so proud that you're with us, Carla. Thank you so much. Our children are blessed because, because of you. And we're so proud to be a part of that as Liberty Hill family to present to you this certificate. Don't stop. Keep up the good work. Will you please? Amen. We present this certificate to you. God bless you. When I um, wrote the first version of Grandma's Hand seven years ago, it was, as Pastor said, in remembrance of my grandmother who gave me strength, compassion, and wisdom. And now today, my own mother is 85 years old. She lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And for the last year and a half, she's been fighting for her life. And every day she's with us is a blessing. So I ask the church to keep not only my mother, but my sister who takes care of her 100% of the time in their prayers. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Amen. All right, now we have, is Deborah here? Deborah Smith? Carla. Carla. Please, Deborah. Carla, don't leave. Carla was nominated by Mark Copeland, public information officer. I'm sorry. Deborah has been serving Berkeley students for over 20 years. In recent years, serving them at lunch at Thousand Oaks School, which, where Deborah is an addition to a special dining experience to the Berkeley Unified School District students. She brought distinction to her department and 
her profession by receiving numerous recognition awards. Like many of the district 10-month employees, Deborah joined our summer maintenance crew traveling through our schools, getting them ready for open day. Deborah is the kind of person who sets a new standard in everything that she does. So much that she was quickly pulled into the maintenance department where she worked with one of our landscaping teams who work hard to keep up dozens of acres of school grounds for the past few years. She hasn't given up her nutritional role. She has a whole, she brings good healthy lunches to her job. Amen. Deborah, we're proud of you Amen. because you, like Marvis Peoples, started with the uh, maintenance crew, the Oakland Public Schools. You know what he did? He worked as a custodian to get his education, amen? Yeah, you wouldn't know that, would you? That's what he did, amen? So I had so much power, so much influence over children, because guess what? I could open that lunch pail for them, amen? Help them with the things that they really had. And then when I became a principal, I could really identify because I knew where everybody was. You are somebody. Did you know that? God bless you. She said she knows she's somebody. Amen. Isn't that beautiful for to know that she is who? Somebody. Deborah, we're proud of you. We present you with this certificate. Amen. God bless you. You want to say something? I've been in the district a long time and I've met a lot of people and I want people to keep knowing me at different places that I go and I, I'm a very visible person. I'm not shy. I don't let people <laughs> ignore me. So when I walk up to people, they already know me from someplace else. <laughs> and I'm glad to say that I'm the first lady I have to say black because there was one other lady before me. I'm the first black uh, Gardner in the Berkeley Unified School Amen. District. Amen. And I've, I've changed a lot of the guys. They bring their lunch now. I have them eating healthy. <laughs> and believe it or not, they don't mind. They love it. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bless you. Bless you. Gloria Dudley. Gloria Dudley is Administrative Assistant of Special Education for the Berkeley Unified School District. And uh, Dana Malone. Dana Malone is also a personnel department for the Berkeley Unified School District. Can we say amen to all of them? Amen. Can we say it loud? Amen. This is it. This is what? Education Sunday. Amen. amen. Guess what? Amen. You are the ones that shape our future. There is no future without you. Amen. What you put in our children is what our nation becomes. Amen. Know that. You are so powerful. Amen. amen. Can we say amen, church? Amen. I got like y'all scared. Say amen. amen.